Hello friend, I am Samadhi back with a new tutorial video regarding soil mechanics. In this video, I am talking about types of water present in soil when you will sit for any kind of exam like SSC, any kind of state PSC, engineering service examination. So in this exam, you will find few questions from this chapter and this chapter is very much easy just you have to understand in concept so in this video i talk about types as well as what do you mean by that without further delaying let's start this video along with some bonus tips watch the video till the end brush up your concept and with your knowledge if you are new in my channel subscribe the channel press the bell icon for never miss an update from this video we'll enter effective stress chapter so in last series i discuss about 16 to 17 video regarding soil structure and clay mineralogy that same person i will upload single video in this playlist so you will find effective stress playlist where i upload one by one video regarding effective stress so first video is type of water present in soil type jo hota hai, type of water so basically we divide this type of water in three division number one broad classification number two phenomenological classical and number three structural aspect classification broad classification may soil ko basically two section one divide kar sakta. number one free water number two held water furthermore held water may soil ko teen section may classify kar sakta. structural water absorbed water and capillary water now we talk about phenomenological classification first is classification ko hum char section may divide kar sakta hai. ground water number two capillary water number three absorbed water number four in filtered water and structural classification ke mein, we can divide the water in four sections these are pore water solvent water absorbed water and structural water so this is basically types of water present in soil this capillary water can be broad classification ke andar bhi aa sakta hai phenomenal classification ke andar aa sakta hai structural classification ke andar bhi aa sakta hai question kahan se aata hai question aata hai free water se question aa sakta hai capillary water se question aa sakta hai structural water se question aata hai and effective stress mein jitna sare maths hoga wo pore water concept mein ek pura ka pura hoga now in second part of video the video may be very lengthy because i will discuss every kind of water so first to first i talk about ground water i just discuss about few important point in ground water man lo this is your ground level aur yahan pe soil hai to isko hum kya keh sakte hain isko hum keh sakte hain sub surface level in this sub surface layer they are present lots of voids if there it void so in soil mechanics void mein kaun rehta hai water rehta hai air rehta hai air aane ka chance less hai to so kaun rehega water rehega so this ground water present in this void this water only move downward for gravitation action that is why this ground water known as a gravitational water or ek cheez aap likh sakte ho in this gravitational water hydrodynamic force will acting now i talk about capillary water capillary water kya ho cheez hote first we ha have to understand what do you mean by capillary this is your gl or ye maan lo interconnected voids present in sub surface layer theek hai interconnected void or capillary zone pe ek cheez kaam kar that is surface tension 
I hope you know about surface tension. This is a basic fundamental thing in the fluid mechanics. If you didn't know, so do comment in comment section. I will make a separate video regarding surface tension. Okay. So due to surface tension, water particle go upward. So this particular, this particular water known as a capillary water. and due to capillary action all the vacant pores all the vacant pores filled with capillary water that is all about your capillary water now i talk about absorbed water in absorbed water there is a two types of water number 1 hygroscopic water number 2 flim water we we'll talk about one by one first hygroscopic water What do you mean by have hygroscopic water? So, pile up. We have to understand what do you mean absorb. Absorb means something you absorb from somewhere. Understand the hygroscopic water. Suppose this is your surface level or ground level. Clear? Or ground level upper there will be some moisture molecule. Some moisture molecule. Some molecule just comes to contact with the ground level. and when they are comes to contact with the ground level this ground level or this soil particle present in ground level they can absorb this moisture content and fill its own void that phenomenon known as a adhesion property So my bonus point. What do you mean by addition, and what do you mean by cohesion? Addition means attraction between two particles, but both particles are different to each other. Cohesion means attraction between two particles, both are the same particle. If this particular soil is sand or silt. or clay then their absorbed percentage of water 1% 6% 16% so if the soil is sand then absorbed water percentage 1% if it is sealed then 6% if clay then 16% now i talk about flint water this flint water is very simple like suppose this is your soil particle flint means in this particles in this particle there will be layer of a water this is known as your flint water so technically you can say more specific surface area is increasing then contain of the flint water should be increasing this is as simple as that Now I talk about infiltrate water. If you read the hydrology, there will be a topic called phi index. That is quite related the infiltration. What if you not read? Then fine, I will tell you in brief. But when I talk about hydrology, then I will be doing very detail. सपोज दिस इज योर ग्राउंड लेवल प्रेसिपिटेशन हो रहा है मतलब बारिश हो रहा है सो बारिश जब हो रहा है वाटर कम्स इन योर ग्राउंड लेवल फ्यू पोर्शन ऑफ वाटर कम्स इन टू सॉयल एंड फ्यू परसेंट ऑफ वाटर इज पास फ्लो थ्रू द ग्राउंड लेवल सो द अमाउंट ऑफ वाटर द अमाउंट ऑफ वाटर कम्स अंडर द सॉयल that known as a infiltrate water very simple infiltrate water so aap keh sakte ho this is soaked water and two moves downward now i talk about pore water what is the pore water in last I talk about lots of interparticle force, lots of interparticle force. So in pore water, there is 
two types of water comes under this pool. One is gravitational water, another is capillary water. This water denotes the physical and chemical property of water. This kind of water there will be acting hydrodynamic force. Now I talk about solvate water. When you see the soil as when you when you consider the molecular structure of soil then you will find lots of structures there like uh, gypsite, octahedral, hexagonal. So in the structure there will be lots of mineral will be there, lots of hydrogen bond will be there. So basically they are subjected to polar as well as ionic binding or sometimes electrostatic. Ultimately, these types of water form hydration, you can say thickness of 200 molecule thick. And for this water, density should be high, viscosity should be high. Now, the last is the structural water. Previously, we talked about the structural water in where oven dry method. Have you remember? So basically, they present in water as a form of crystal. So it is very difficult to separate. But separate process is easy. You have to heat the soil 105 to 110 degree temperature for 24 hours then you can easily separate or remove this water from soil but if you heated the soil more than 110 degree then crystal should be broken then soil property is hampered therefore this kind of water part of a soil structure that is why this types of water known as a soil structure so yes this is all about types of water where i talk about is the first part of effective stress then i talk about the type of water where there is a properly three classification and then i talk about the every types of water present in soil so guys if there is any kind of doubt do comment in comment section if you learn something new so definitely share the video and like the video still if you are watching my video subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for never miss an update because i am coming with this types of video almost every day thank you for watching this video more knowledge more opportunity